dude. <laughs> Excuse you. That was kind of rude. Good readings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Starbound Beta. This is episode number three with your favorite starfaring space monkey, Chaka Khan. And we are about to head down to the planet's surface to get started on some more chores today. Um, Chuck has been busy. He's done a little bit of off-camera work to make some progress to get through kind of the grindy stuff in the beginning here. But I will, um, I'll go down. We'll go down to the planet, and I'll show you the stuff that he's done so far. Before we head down, let's take a look at my fuel supply here. So I've been dumping some coal into my fuel tank here on occasion when I have some extra, and it's merely just a matter of dropping in some coal ore, hitting the fuel, and then that gets converted to a fuel that the ship can actually use to fly. So we've got uh, almost a hundred out of a thousand. We're still pretty close to E. It's just like when I hop in one of my cars after my son drives it. Or my wife, actually. <laughs> now, as you'll see here, I've done some upgrading here in my spaceship. <clears throat> Let's just take a moment and I'll show you what I've got. So I found this little guy. Um, in the space that space station down on the planet that we found in the last episode so I grabbed that thing there I've got this interesting looking uh, high-tech chest I put this platform up here I've got this um, planet monitor I, uh, I found these nice modern chairs and table I think they're called cool chairs and cool table I've got these blue flasks too a whole bunches of them 33 to be exact I put one on the table because it looks nice I'm not really sure what they do Full with uh, full of blue liquid. We'll try one at some point um, when monkey's feeling brave. And what else? Oh, and I've got all my cool servers up here. And I think that's it. Oh, and these lights, the cheap lights I put up as well. So as you can see here, I've done a few upgrades at my little house on the planet as well. Check that out. That was from the bird lady. If you remember, we uh, kind of acquired these items from the bird lady's house which is over to the east to the right she's gone now so we kind of uh, helped ourselves to her stuff the ninjas killed her um, we will get to the bottom of that I'm going to be investigating those murders shortly so I put some stuff down here I figure they're kind of like trophies and I made a spindle spinning wheel rather right here and you can do stuff with fabrics you can make up some armor or, or clothing rather and it does actually provide some armor some of these clothes it's not great it's not metal armor like we're gonna make here momentarily but um, and you can make fabric which you can then turn into those clothing now it, it used to be that you have to use fabric to make bandages but that's not the case anymore you can make bandages directly from plant fibers and I have some bandages up here which are used for healing obviously um, that's in today's patch there's a new patch today called Irritating Koala. And uh, I'll talk about some of the new stuff in there. So, all right. Let's let's uh, let's go out here and take a look at the crops. Now, I did some growing. I wanted to talk about the crops today. So, um, in order to grow crops, you've got to till the earth and then plant your seeds. And there's all sorts of seeds here. Let me just throw the pineapples down. I don't have any pineapple plants growing. So, we'll do a couple of pineapples. And uh, then you just have to wait for them to grow. Whether or not the water, hydration, or sunlight, or light around the plants make any difference, I don't know. Um, just using Minecraft as a reference. In Minecraft, it does make a difference. I'm not sure if the gong helps or not, but my plants like music. And since I can't sing, I'll just play the gong occasionally. And um, so these have been planted for a while. These, This is a little banana plant right here. I've, I've harvested the bana bananas off that one. So to harvest, some people, well, I did at the very beginning. I was like, oh, how do you get these darn things off? And I would like take it like that. But that's going to kill the plant, not harvest it. So what you want to do is interact with it. Your E key, your interact key, whatever it happens to be. And you'll get plant, ooh, we got plant fiber out of that too. Down there at the bottom, you see we got two bananas and two seeds. So each plant will give you a one seed and one fruit or vegetable depending on what it is and also you'll get a seed back too and then you can just regrow there you go and we'll do the same here we'll get some wheat i don't recall these giving plant fibers 
the last time I harvested them. So that might actually be new. Oh, that's the that's the wheat. We need the seeds. So wheat's pretty common. Every character class or race rather will start with the wheat, but if you are if you're an apex, you'll start with uh, you'll start with the banana seeds. If you're the bird, the avian, you'll start with this feather stuff. I think where is it? Um, feather crown, I believe. So each each race has its own uh, favorite food type that they start out with. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. How about we? What was our quest? Let's check the journal. First contact, right? Oh, Distress Beacon, but we're not going to do that yet. You need to be prepared for that for a battle. Apparently, there's some guy that flies down on a spaceship and attacks you. Ooh, I'm hungry. Sheesh. Let's have... Um, let's have some alien meat, but I'm also going to start eating some bananas. So here's something neat that um, is new in the Irritating Koala patch. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to wreck my crops. Um... When you kill animals now with a uh, with your regular weapon, they might drop meat. Before the irritating koala, they they would not uh, they would not drop meat. You would have to shoot them with a bow, and that and, and hunting with a bow was kind of uh, hit or miss. Um, apparently, you can you can make other types of hunting weapons now as well, and a hunting weapon will will uh, increase the chance of dropping. But they will, there's, a, there's a good chance that they'll drop with a regular weapon, too. A melee weapon, I think. Um, we need to... Before we get to the Distress Beacon, we need to do our anvil. Because we want to make up some armor. So we can mitigate some of the damage that we're taking here. We take a lot of damage. So we need one more iron bar to make the anvil. And that's kind of where I left off. Other than the um, taking care of a few minor chores around the house. I haven't really done a whole heck of a lot. So here's some more iron. Let's grab this. Now, I found this using a little trick. And I'm not sure if I had shown this trick before, but basically I was down here. If you hold this in your hand, you can kind of look around and see what's in the, uh, the fog of war area, as we call it, right? The dark space. But I found out there's another trick, too. If you hold down control, you can kind of slide around the map like this, the screen and go off the edges just a little bit. So this is kind of a double whammy. And that's how I found this ore over here. I was here and I just kind of searched around. I saw some ores. Now the thing is, that because this dot is red, it's hard to tell exactly what you're looking at, but you'll get familiar with the colors eventually. Like the, there's some coal in here, and coal, when you do this, looks um, kind of purplish. Anyway. And then you double click control to bring it back centered on you. So that should give us enough ore to make one more bar. We need eight iron bars to make this anvil. And then once we have the anvil, we can make some armor. So let's go do that. <laughs> I love that thing. Um, all right, here is. Oh, I left some of the copper in there. So here's the stone furnace. So that was the last quest we did was to make the iron bars, but it never. There's no quest to make the um, the anvil. It just doesn't make it obvious that that's the next thing to do without reading. And reading us for the week. Here we go. Iron anvil. Dun dun dun. There we go. Bam. Now, um, anvil. I wonder if I can put that on top of my furnace. Let's try. There's not a lot of space in my little hut here. I can, and I can still get past it. Very lovely. Point to that, and there it is. Awesome. All right, now we can get some upgrading going with our copper bars. So, oh, see, this is now we're getting into having to pay for things with pixels with our space bucks. So, eight iron bars. I want to make sure I have enough for armor. So, Greaves is 12. I, I have a lot of copper, actually. All right, let's make the copper pickaxe. That's going to help us work faster. And notice that it just upgraded the stone pickaxe automatically. So the stone pickaxe is gone. It just upgrades it, which is nice. So that way you don't have a, 
um, an inferior tool, an obsolete tool hanging around in your inventory with nothing to do with it. Alright, let's get back in here and... But why don't we go with... The chest piece provides three... And this is attack, I think, and then this is... Um, insulation. So it does provide some insulation. This armor value is kind of interesting. It's not cumulative. It kind of it's kind of equivalent to like a level of monster that you can fight. So when you basically look at your armor value and how do I get to my armor value? Right here, which is two. Even if I throw this iron armor on uh, this this copper armor on, which let's do that. Let's just do that. I'll throw this on here and I'll show you what I mean. Let's craft that up. Oh, I got a new blueprint. I'm not sure what, but we'll take a look at that here in a second. So here's my copper chest plate. And should we have the copper? Okay, so this, this is the social slot. Alright. Do we want the copper showing through? Yeah, why not? Alright, so there's my copper. Now note when I put this on... The armor value doesn't go anywhere. It's still at 2. So it's basically saying, well, you know what? Even with all the pieces that you have right now, you're still about at 2 as far as level goes. And that's where I, I'm not sure how this works out with the creatures that we should be fighting. But um, it says comfortably something about the damage that a level 2 creature does will be absorbed for the most part. Don't quote me on that. You have to check the wiki. But I, that's kind of my theory. Um, because again, it's not cumulative, that number. And let's go back here and make, uh, let's make a helmet, protect the noggin. Another blueprint. Nice. Oh, it went right on my head automatically, because I didn't have a piece there. That's goggles, really, but check it out. That's so cool. Well, I guess it's both. It's a little helmet with goggles. Aw, isn't that cute? And apparently, I have to wear them. If I have them on, we're going to see it. I don't get to see my little monkey face anymore. All right, you know what? I do like this, like that, though. Okay, yeah. I think that matches a little nicer, don't you think? All right, let's check out what these new schematics are. Oh, we can make rope now with an iron bar and plant fiber. One use, but very useful. Hmm. All right. That is not one of the new schematics, because I, I had seen that earlier. But let's see what I didn't have before that I have now. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, metalwork station right here at the very top. We need a molten core. And we have the anvil, so I'm going to have to take my anvil. So it looks like it's some kind of an upgraded furnace. A station for producing and making use of various metals capable of producing steel. Ooh. So I need a metal core. Molten core, rather. I'm not sure if that's craftable or something we can find. So we need this distress signal next. That is the next quest. We need silver. We need some copper, some iron, and some wooden planks. I've got the pixels for it. So no big deal. We just going to have to go do some mining. And I've got my new copper pickaxe here. And uh, ooh, let me just take a quick nap and sleep off that uh, minor injury that we suffered at the hands of some weird Pokemon dinosaur. Let's grab them bananas. And where's my banana seeds? Oh, that's wheat. Nah. Now this guy here is something... I was harvesting these two early, apparently, because I have not seen... This must be the adult version. I haven't seen that yet. Let's grab it. Reef pod. I don't know what a reef pod does. So this is the seed. Let's reseed it. I may... Uh, right now I'm just trying all the various foods. I don't know what I'm going to stick with. What is the reefer plant? Reef pod. Tastes like a crunchy smoothie. Mmm... Now, can we eat in our hands? Yes, we can. Cool. All right. So if you left-click with something in your hand, you use it. 
Now, according to the patch notes, every time you eat, you'll see your health, your food bar. But doesn't look like that's working yet. Now, let's see if this guy will drop me some food if I kill him with this thing. Come on down. Come on down. No, dude. Off the crops. All right. Well, now I can shoot him, so... Oh, and this uh, this bow, the way this works, remember that little flaming arrow? Or right there. There it is. It's just before the bow is a full pullback. You get one quick second of it. So it's not a full draw. Oh, that arrow just fell down. Isn't it? So let's see if I can get him like this. So if you can time it right, you'll be able to get that thing pretty much pretty reliably. I'm way off. I'm going to shoot one like that. That's going to hit me, probably. Uh, that ought to get him. Wait a minute. 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 And boom! Nope. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, <pfft. laughs> I wasn't even trying that time. Got his meat. And that's what counts. All right, let's go digging. So, I did happen to see some more ores down here. And it looks like kind of an interesting place. There's a there's a cave down here. There were some guys hopping around. Oh, there's one. Hey, buddy. Coming for you. There's some more plant fibers. So I'm wondering if this is like Terraria. The deeper you go, the uh, the more precious the gemstones and resources that you find. That looks like coal. Again, that's the purple, red on black. So you get kind of a purpley color. But there's definitely some iron down here somewhere. I'm just going to work my way down there, I think. This planet is really not very big, and um, I'm pretty sure I have I have uh, circumnavigated from one end to the other end. They do it just goes around, so if you go one direction, you are going to end up coming back around the other way. Let's see how good this pick is. Wow, it's fast, and it does a wider area. Doesn't it? So this one was that three by three. So the stone was actually two by three. I think originally I had said it was three by three. It's not. The stone pickaxe was two by three. This one appears to be. Yes, it is. Did I get nine that time? I think I did. Three by three, and it is faster. Nice. Definitely faster with the ores. I like it. Here's some iron right here. I think those guys see me. Bad guys. Oh, oh, there's the cave right there. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can just get this and shoot rain heck down on them. It's my bow. Although, the bow really isn't a weapon to rain anything down on anyone. You know, what's better than that is a platform. I really need to figure out what I want to have in my hands half the time here. I think the wooden... Oh, I don't have any wooden... Oh, oh you're friendly. I was just about to whack you, pal. Lots of wood here. I'm curious about the rope. But I don't want to use that right now. Um, I can craft wooden platforms without a crafting table. That's nice. So, let me eat a banana first. Because I know I'm a little hungry. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the wooden planks in my hand. Let's put the platforms. That gives me quick access to the platforms for navigating quickly. Can I do this with a right click? No, right click is still... Because it's a two-hander, that's not going to work. I'm assuming if I had two one-handed things in my hand, this would be the, the uh, whatever's on the left and that's on the right, of course. So I find that this is kind of useful. You can shoot from platform down on top of things, and sometimes they can't get you. So I've got a really nice house. I have another character that I've been messing around with. And I built a, like a tree fort. And uh, it's super defensible. I'll show that to you another time. I figured out how to uh, kind of take advantage of um, this bow. Get up off the ground. I think that guy's a friendly. I think we're f we're okay with him. Hey, buddy. All right, got the meat. Ah, oh. there's a 
A lot of copper here. We can get some greaves. Actually, how much do I have? All right, so I think what I'm going to do is do a little mining here. I'm going to I'm searching for silver. And apparently silver is was hard to find or at least hard to, to see. Oh. Is he new? There's some iron. But uh, with the new irritated koala patch, apparently that has been rectified. Can I release water like Tewewe? Yeah, we Now, can I get these with this? No, I think we've got to use this. How about an axe? Looks like Axe is the best for the vines, huh? Hey, buddy! He's so cute. So here's how I make bandages. You can make bandages right out in the world. Um, right here with the plant fibers. That's fine. That should be good. This guy doesn't look... Friendly. You can tell by the eyes. Look at their eyes. The unfriendlies have that eye thing. Oh, maybe not. There goes. <laughs> there goes that theory, right? Don't judge a book by its cover. That's the lesson there, kitties. Look at this place. All right. This is the deepest I've been so far. Dude. <laughs> Excuse you. That was kind of rude. Well, I'm glad I'm not hitting him with my axe. Alright. So this distress beacon, again, this is the next thing we need to make. Make sure you're ready for anything before you do. So we really need to make sure we have at least armor and a decent weapon, which I definitely have. Now that's an ugly, scary face. Now look at him. He wants to fight. Oh! Oh, look at this. The temperature gauge now has been changed, too, which is kind of nice. Because before it looked like some kind of something to do with the sun and like a the day-night type thing. So I'm going to get cold down here, and I'm going to show you guys how to warm up. You can use, actually, two torches, but I might as well just carry a campfire. You know what? I think I already had one. It doesn't hurt to carry an extra campfire. I did have one. Darn it. Let's just put a campfire here. Thought I had one. So I just warm up by the fire. See that? That this looks this makes much more sense than the sun did. The developers are really putting out uh, content pretty quickly. They actually said that on their website, playstarbond.com. They said that they will be um, the patches are going to be coming fast and furious using their almost I think exact words. I'm sorry, but I gotta hit you, pal, because you're kind of in the way. He was tough. Um, and so far, yeah, this is like, I think, the third patch since... Ooh! I thought he had, did he have a little crown or those? Oh, he's just, that's just like an angry thing in his head going on. I think this is the third patch since, uh, since release. Whoa! So I think, you know, things are obviously going to change pretty rapidly here. But I, I kind of like that. So one, the one thing that I like about betas, alphas, is the changes and the new content. Like I just remember with Minecraft, the Secret Friday updates. I'm hitting the wrong thing here, aren't I? Were so fun when Notch was doing all the development himself. And he always just couldn't wait for that Friday to find out what was going to be added. And he would put stuff in secretly and then not tell you, you know, what it was, what's in there. And you'd have to figure it out for yourself. Of course, it'd be on the wiki or Reddit within minutes. But <laughs> I guess in a way, they still kind of do that. But not. it's not quite the same as it used to be. There's a lot of coal up there, which we're going to have to go snag. Uh, let's have a bandage. I'm not sure how that works. It looks like it's a time thing, a little regeneration. I should grab my campfire. I guess this is one of those indispensable items that you want to carry around with you as a little campfire. When you're out exploring the cold planets here. I'm looking for silver. Does anybody actually use the flashlight? 
<laughs> I don't. <laughs> Let's grab this coal. All right. This might be the place to use the flashlight, actually. And I think... Oh, I do have it. Okay. Um... Let's put it in the banana slot. Because this works underwater. Oh, it's going to be chilly down. Oh, a chest! Oh, look at this! Awesome! All right, let's just grab everything. I wish there were a way to loot all. What are those pants? Um, oh, boy. All right, let's grab that, too, in fact. Got it. That water wasn't that cold. I'm surprised. Now, what do we get? We have uh, space uniform trousers. Oh, that's... Ow. They're not even that good. Perfect for use on the holodeck. I guess, yeah, this is just kind of like a casual lounge wear. Space uniform trousers. We did get some bars. We got some golden bars. Oh, five silver bars. There you go. <laughs> How many did I need for the distress beacon? I, I wasn't really even looking. Hmm. Why am I still carrying my broken riot sword? This is the first time I've ever used the trash. Let's trash it. I've got a wooden door here. Senseless whacker. Um, Alright, let's not do that. Um, I've got five silver. I still need some iron. And I have... I think I have some iron ore, don't I? Should we try that rope? I'd like to try that rope. It was kind of expensive, actually. It required iron to make the rope, so I don't know if I just want to use it willy-nilly. Alright, I'm going to grab some of this, and then uh, I'm going to head back upstairs, and we'll figure out what we want to do next. I'm not sure if I want to make that beacon just yet. Okay, I just tested this weapon on my crops, and apparently... It does not destroy the crops. It would if I kept hitting the ground, obviously. If it breaks breaks the ground, it's probably going to kill the plants as well. But at least this um, first hit or two doesn't seem to do any harm, which is nice. I'll harvest those in a bit. I need to go heal up. Oh, and the uh, control thing, I think I said double-click to return back to you. Um, that's not the case. You just have to hit it one more time. And then it recenters on you. All right, all rested up and organized, so let's go ahead and see what we need for this distress signal. I think we're pretty close, but we're still, yeah, we're still missing iron bars. We need four iron bars. That shouldn't be too difficult to acquire. So I'm going to do that off camera, and we will make that distress be beacon in the next episode, because I am out of time, sadly. Um, however, let's go ahead over here. I do have a one minute left. Let's bang a gong. Bang a gong. Eat some... I want to try one of these reef pods, essentially, because I have not tried one of these. And I don't know if it's safe. So let's try one right now. And you get to witness the result here. So ready? On three, two... Oh, we're good! It's tasty. It does taste like a smoothie. Mm-hmm. No ill effects. I'm good. Good to go. Excellent. We like a variety of foods. We get a little sick of bananas, don't you know? So, <laughs> cool. Choices, folks. It's all about the choices. Uh, now I put my seeds over here. Did a little organizing off camera there. Trying to stay organized if possible. All right, we have about a minute left. Let's go. Bang a gong. Get it on. I want to make bread. I can make bread with wheat. I'm not sure where though. Obviously not in a smelter. Um. I think maybe it would be under the food here, right? But no, I don't know. You guys know how to make bread? If you do, put it in the comments. I would appreciate it. I know that um, it says right here, essential for making bread, but I don't know what the recipe is. Not that it matters. I mean, I have plenty of food options at this time anyway, but what the heck. i got to have my carbs, you know what I mean? My starches. All right. I think that's it. It's time to go. We'll see you all soon in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed um, and if you did, a, uh, a like is appreciated, and leave a comment as well. Give me some feedback, and uh, well, we'll see you next time. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.